We're going to come over here to the stove. I'm going to preset my stove to 350 degrees, or my oven. And make sure I don't have any pans or anything in there that need to come out. I'm going to set this camera back up where it was because we're going to need that a little bit later um, for when we get ready to put our cookies in the oven. Um, so we'll just let it sit right there for the moment. I'm getting a little sidetracked here. Okay, so cookies are messy. I'm missing, I mean, I'm missing something here. Give me just one moment. I just got a batch of laundry done yesterday. And we need a towel. So, so now let's get started. In making sugar cookies, is going to be to cream the butter and the sugar together. to write my recipes down before I start this vlog every time. And that's my spiral notebook here. Um, you know, we're not, we're not all perfect and re baking recipes have to be exact. So, we're going to be exact. Um, now we're going to add our egg and we're going to add that egg and then mix, beat it in first. Crack on a flat surface, not on the edge of your bowl. I goofed there. I was about to crack it on the side of my bowl. Uh, the reason you crack it on a flat surface is so that none of the eggshell get actually get into the egg. So now we're gonna we're going to incorporate this egg, and this is where it starts to vary from a buttercream. You wouldn't put buttercream or an egg in buttercream. You would, however, add vanilla or strawberry or whatever flavoring you wanted to add to the buttercream and food colorings, etc., etc. So, and being that these are for my kids, we might actually make some interesting looking cookies here. So let's see. We have to add our flour, our baking powder, our salt, and our vanilla. Okay, so the vanilla is one teaspoon. I have exactly that left in here. I, I mean, just quite exact, I mean, exactly that. <laughs> I'm going to have to pick up vanilla before I can do any more baking. So there's our vanilla. I need to grab our teaspoon measures. They, um, put that in for recycling. Teaspoon measures is where we got washed today. They're in our washing machine. Make sure they're dried off so we don't want to add water to our um, baking powder or anything here. So, for baking powder, we need a half a teaspoon. So, I got a half a teaspoon measure here. <clears throat> Fiberware, plastic, they are labeled. Really nice. Uh, don't handle 
professional kitchens very well, but a home kitchen, pretty decent. Okay, there's our baking powder. And it's a half a teaspoon of salt. And I always put just a hair under, so that way I know I'm not overdoing it on the salt. And the flour, which is two and one quarter cups of flour. So, I'm going to offer a suggestion when you're working, when you're trying to get level cups of flour in this case. If we were frying and I said a cup of flour, you could literally mound a cup of flour and that would be fine. But when you're baking, it needs to be more exact. So, we're going to get two and a quarter cups of flour. So to get two and a quarter cups of flour, we fill our cup of flour, take our knife from one, one end to the other, just very gently, back and forth, start cutting it, knocking it, and then smooth it. That's one cup of flour. So there's one. And I'm doing this over a bake, the baking sheet. This way I can clean, I can rinse the baking sheet off, I can wipe it off, I can, I'm not having to make a mess. There's two. And there's our quarter. And for this, it says two. Just add it in so. What we're going to end up doing here is we want to blend it, not to beat it in. So we're going to take our rubber spatula here, get as much of this out as possible. Let's make some good cookies, guys. I like, I have this attitude of waste not, want not. The recipe count accounts for loss. Okay, loss on the beater, loss on the, you know, and the process to stick in and clump it and, and, yeah. I personally like to get as much as I can out of what I have. Ingredients aren't cheap. The most ingredients aren't cheap. So, it just becomes a good habit for anything you do to try to get the, the most out of it. Okay, we can put our knife in the sink now. We're going to unplug our beater. Slash mixer, slash whatever you want to call it. Blending the flour and your mixture all together, combining it into a dough. And as you can see, it starts to become crumbly and it smells awesome. I mean, it just smells ridiculously awesome. And this is all you're going to do. You're going to really get that all creamed together, mixed together well. And if you have a um, pastry knife, one of the bowl scraper ones, 
use it. I don't know where mine went to, otherwise I would use it. Actually, I might. No, unfortunately I don't. But, I do have one somewhere. <laughs> and they come in extra handy when you need them. You just got to remember where you put them. Now, if this gets too much for your rubber spatula, just clean it off. And there is another trick to this that you can use, works much better. I'm blind, and one thing I want you guys to understand, every time before I start my cameras, I wash my hands. And on camera, as much as I possibly can remember, I will wash my hands. Um, Cleanliness, cleanliness, cleanliness. You're not going to get people sick if you, if you just keep everything clean. Okay. So our next, what I was going to tell you was, is we can use a wooden spoon. Um, a wooden spoon will give you more sturdiness, more rigidity to blend that better, to blend that together better. So we'll go ahead and pull out a wooden spoon real quick and show you. I have two different wooden spoons. I'm going to use this one. Hopefully it doesn't it doesn't fall apart on me. This is a bamboo spoon, guys. I like bamboo for everything. Just don't put them in your washing machine. Don't ever put anything bamboo in your dishwasher. You will destroy it. Now, as you can see, the dough comes together very nicely. And now this is just a barrel. Oh, it's getting really, really hard to push that spoon through. All right, this is ready for, this is ready for turning into cookies. Now, there is something that you can do here if you wanted to. I think we might just do it, just because I like having a little bit of fun, and it's for my kids. Now, I, I don't normally condone food coloring, guys. I really don't. Um, but, you know, sometimes it can be fun. We're going to add a bit of red to make some red, some red um, sugar cookies or pink sugar cookies. I don't know where my blue is otherwise we'd make purple. That's wrong cat. Okay, so to do that, we just blend our food coloring in. You'll know it's mixed in when all when all of your dough is one color. The kids will get a kick out of it. It's not like it's adding any flavor. It's really it's just making pink sugar cookies, and the kids will love it. And I'm using a technique called folding, guys, in a way. I'm grabbing it, I'm rolling it, I'm grabbing it, folding it over, folding it over, back and forth. Oh, look at that pretty pink bow. My kids are going to have a field day with these. Dough is pink. Pink dough. <laughs> Yay!
off our flour. Bring our nonstick pan over to the sink, brush off all our flour, it's not going to hurt anything. There we go. Now what we want to do, take our teaspoon, break us off some dough, and with clean hands, we want to put these in balls onto the tray. But, before they go onto the tray, we turn them into a ball. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing too good. <laughs> that was a goof. Okay, <laughs> now we'll get it right. Alright, so, before we put them onto the tray, they, go, they get rolled in this, and then pressed onto the tray. So, we've got our cookie rolled. <laughs> Trying not to make a huge mess. My hands are going to be pink when this is all done. Toss them around in the sugar and the cinnamon a little bit. Put them on here. and Just make sure you roll them really decent. Set them on the tray and then with your thumb just give them a little bit of a press down. turn this nice golden brown on.
everybody. So we're making the last two batches of our sugar cookies. And this is how they've been turning out. They've been fairly decent looking. I had a few that got a little bit more caramelized on the bottom. But otherwise, they're looking really good. Um, and they're pretty. And they're pretty, as my daughter said. Um, just to give you guys a nice look at them. Very yummy, very yummy, very yummy. All nice and coated in sugar, too. Very yummy. Um, okay, last two batches. I got one batch in. I got one batch getting ready to go in after these come out. And then I'm done. So I wanted to say to, to you all to enjoy the recipe. Give it a shot. Try it out. Make them different colors for your kids. Make it a family affair if you want. I did, my, my kids just got home, so they came in at the uh, tail end of this being done. So I've got everything already done for the better part. So they didn't get to help me. But this is something you can have your kids help you with. You can help teach them how to spoon the dough, roll it into a ball, coat it in the sugar, and put it on the cookie sheet. You just handle the hot stuff. So... Until until next time guys have a great day love you guys keep cooking